Okay, so this is going to be just a short video that is uh, going to take a look at uh, complex circuits. Uh, and really the only thing that uh, you guys need to be uh, able to do on the test is going to be to find the total resistance. Now there's going to be a bonus question on the test about uh, actually doing current and resistance, but let's just take a look at a random complex circuit. All right, so there's a complex circuit. We'll say this is two. That's four, six, three, ten. Okay, and I just came up with some numbers here, and uh, they might not work out very well, but uh, we'll see what's going on. And uh, again, not that it really matters, but we'll just call that a 12 volt battery. So the main thing that you want to do when you're taking a look at a complex circuit is going to be to uh, find those things that you absolutely positively know are in series or parallel. Uh, now you don't want to get fall, you don't want to fall into a trap by taking a look at something, thinking it's series or parallel, and moving on about your business, but uh, end up coming up with the wrong answer. So without a shadow of a doubt, three and ten have to be in series. Okay. And why do they have to be in series? Because they are sharing the exact same current. And if they have the same current, 3 and 10, that means they have to be in series. And if that's the case, then we can do the total resistance being just adding them together. 3 plus 10 gives you 13. Now, it might help you out by redrawing the circuit once you have done this and say, okay, well, now at this step, at this stage of the game, we have something that looks something similar to what I'm drawing now where the 10 and the 3 have been taken out. This is still 2, that's still 4, this is still 6, this is now 13. So we can really replace these two resistors up here with one that's just 13. And that really hasn't changed the circuit all that much in terms of current. That's the same uh, current that's being taken out of the battery. So it's an equivalent. These are equivalent circuits. So now we have 6 and 13, and those these are definitely in parallel. Now, when I tell you not to fall into the trap, I don't want you to start over here with 2 and 4 and say these are in parallel because they're, ab they're actually not. These are not in parallel. If you were to expand the circuit out so it looked uh, in a straight line, you would see that it actually would look something like this. And the wires would end up coming back to the battery. So if you were to flatten it out, you can see that these two are not actually in parallel. They're in series with whatever this happens to be, and this is the 6 and 13. So if this is a, a parallel section of 6 and 13, then we have to be able to do our uh, parallel total resistance, which is 1 over our total, and that equals 1 over 6 plus 1 over 13. And at this point, I would grab a calculator. because I don't know the nice common denominator that uh, 6 and 13 give you. So, sticking it into the calculator. You get an answer that says 1 over 6 plus 1 over 13 is 0 0.244. Now, is that our answer? Well, uh, like I'm, I might have mentioned in class, if you don't have a resistor that's in parallel that's, le uh, that's 1, then your total resistance should not be less than 1. It will be less than 6, but it should not be this, this much. And the one thing that we might have forgotten to do is the fact that this is 1 over our total, and so we have to do our total as being 1 over 0.244, taking the reciprocal of it, which we get a resistance of 4.11 ohms. So now if we redraw this, we have a circuit that now looks like this. And this is still 2, this is still 4, and now this has been replaced with 4.11 ohms. Uh, now, this is no longer a complex circuit. This is just a regular, good old-fashioned series circuit. We have, know that the total resistance here is just the addition of all of them. 2 plus 4 plus 4.11 gives us, uh, what, 10.11 ohms. So if we were to draw the, the last circuit, the last circuit would look something like this.
and that is the total resistance. Uh, and at this point, we could find the total current. The total current would be fairly easy to uh, calculate. Current is voltage divided by resistance, so that gives 12 volts divided by 10.11 ohms. And if I had asked about that, 12 divided by 10.11 would give you a current of 1.18 or 19, depending on how you round. 1.19, not ohms. So what happens when we are not paying attention? So this is 1.19 amps. So this is just a standard complex circuits problem, and this can look uh, different in, the, in different ways. Uh, but the main thing that you want to to think about is what do you honestly know without a shadow of a doubt? What is in series? What is in parallel? And once you take those and what we I can call collapse, you collapse the 10 and the 3 down to a 13, you redraw the circuit. And when you redraw the circuit, you end up seeing that these are in parallel, uh, 6 and 13. How do you know that they're in parallel? Well, you have current coming in this direction. It gets to a junction. Part of it goes to the 6. Part of it goes to the 13. And it comes back after the 6 and 13 and comes back together and comes back out. So these two have to be sharing the same voltage, but not the same current. And so the 6 and 13 have to be uh, in parallel with each other. And then down here, I'm sure everyone can see that this is just a standard series circuit. Okay, that's complex circuits.